Hi guys, welcome or welcome back to my channel. My name is Addie and today we are doing my so so anticipated October reset. I'm so excited because October is like by far my favorite month of the year. I'm so excited to do so much fall reading and I was also born in October so I'm so excited <laughs> for my birthday month. I'm gonna be 21 so I'm very excited for this month. I'm very excited to get to so much fall like spooky reading. This is definitely my favorite reading time of year so I very carefully handpicked my TBR for this month. I've been accumulating this and planning this for months. Like, I've been thinking ahead. You know the TikTok sound? It's like, I am two, always two steps ahead. Like, that was me getting ready for this. I'm also, for this reset, I'm going to do a little bit of decorating, a little journaling, and I'm going to start off with the DVR. Yeah, let's just get into it. I'm so excited to talk to you guys about all these books. I am going to first talk about the book that I am so excited for because... I've talked about this every single year. I read a witchy romance. I've read like the hack X Hex. I've read Go Hex Yourself. Like for the past like probably three years, I've read a witchy romance every Halloween or every October. So I'm so, so excited for my witchy romance of this year. And it is The Very Secret Society of Irregular Witches by Sangu Mandana. I have been so excited to get to it. Like I feel like this is a really hyped witchy romance. I don't know how I haven't read it yet or haven't picked it for my yearly one, but I'm so excited to get to it this year. I've heard phenomenal things about this book. It's described as a warm and uplifting novel about an isolated witch whose opportunity to embrace a quirky new family and a new love changes the course of her life. And I'm so excited for this honestly too because I have like I'm kind of in a romance mood right now which like is weird for this time of year. So I feel like adding the spooky to the romance will be very good for me and I'm very excited about it. Like nothing puts me in more of a Halloween mood than a witchy romance so I'm so excited about this and definitely need to this soon. The next book I really want to read in October is One Dark Window. I wanted to pick a fantasy and I feel like this has been like described as like the like Halloween like gothic fantasy. Like I feel like everyone reads it around this time of year and I've just heard really phenomenal things about it and I'm really excited to get to it. I think it's a duology and I really like how like they're like playing cards for each chapter which I think is cool. It says it's a maiden must unleash the monster within to save our kingdom in the dark. Lush gothic fantasy debut. A gothic fantasy. I love myself a gothic fantasy. It's like one of my favorite genres. So I'm so excited to get to this. I really, 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 really excited for this. And I like, I don't know. I feel like when books get really, really hyped up, I, uh, I tend to not want to read them. So like hype it up so much in my head and then I like psych myself out. I don't know, it's weird. But this is one of those that was so hyped up last year and I feel like now it's a, the hype has died down a little bit and I can like go into it a little bit more, like be a little less intimidated. So I'm very excited to get this. And the next book I have been saving for October is The Invocations by Crystal Sutherland because I love Crystal Sutherland. House of Hollow I read about a year and a half ago. I absolutely loved it. It was so good. Like if you want, like that one is like a high on my recommendations for a Halloween read and I think this one is set around Halloween and it's her new release. So I'm very excited to get to this. I've heard really good things about this one too. Girl walks home alone at night. It's all Hallow's Eve in London. So actually so perfect. I'm so excited. It's described as three girls, one supernatural killer on the loose. On the bottom of the little blurbs is a gorgeously twisted modern fairy tale that shimmers with magic and mystery. So I'm so excited about this. I love my little modern fairy tale. Like look at these sprayed edges. Like I love that. That's so gorgeous. I am also a huge fan. Hardcovers not having that stupid dust, dust jacket. Let's keep this. Let's keep this energy. Let's do this more often. So I am so excited to read this and I I just love House of Hollow, so I have very high expectations for this just because I love her books. Well, I've loved the one book I have read, so I've been waiting to get another one. The next book I really want to read is a book club book. It is The Last Tale of the Flower Bride. I think I have another book. It's by Roshani Chakshi. I'm sorry if I said that wrong, but I think I have another book by her. It's The Gilded Wolves. Yeah. It's up there. I've had that forever on my DVR, but I am going to read this first. It's really short. It's like under 300 pages. So I think this is going to be a good, like quick read for me. I think it's like a gothic 
fantasy oh yeah it says in the tradition of sumptuous gothic novels like starling house and the bloody chamber comes a dark fairy tale infused about a cursed friendship and a marriage steep, steeped in secrets the breathtaking adult debut from new york times best-selling author so i didn't know this was adult so i guess that is why i which i knew that but this is her like adult no novel so i'm very excited to get to this i have a lot of like gothic vibes going on i have a lot of dark but gothic fairy tale books on my tbr but <laughs> that's giving halloween to me so i'm very excited to get to this and i'm really happy that this book was chosen for book club the next book i am so excited for i want to like read it like on halloween is halloween party by agatha christie like look at this cover oh my gosh i got this in a like a haul a few weeks ago and I've just been waiting to get to it. I knew I want, I read another Agatha Christie. It's like, I think I read The Mysterious of Barrett Styles around Halloween a couple years ago, and it was perfect vibes for fall, honestly. So this one, what gets more Halloween than this? Like, I think when I finish it, like I'm gonna display it, cause look how beautiful that cover is. I'm obsessed with it. But I'm pretty sure this one is described as when a Halloween party turns deadly, it falls to famed detective Hercule Poiré to unmask a murderer in this beloved classic from the Queen of Mystery, Agatha Christie. And I really like Ag Agatha Christie. Like, I want to like, dabble more into her books. Like, I think, I don't know. I sure, I don't remember a lot because it's a couple of years ago, but I really do like, I don't know how to say his name. Her Hercule Poiré? I don't know. I think it's French. Um, but I'm very excited to read this. And honestly, I'm just excited to read it so I can walk around with this cover because like, look how beautiful. The next book I would like to read on in October is Misery by Stephen King. I read Pet Cemetery for Summerween in July and I absolutely loved it. I feel like it was a good kind of like dipping my toes into Stephen King and so I knew I wanted to buy another one and read it around Halloween. So I picked Misery. It's pretty short. I've heard really good things about it. I'm pretty sure it's like about this author and his caretaker is dismayed to discover his plans to like kill off her favorite character. So while she's tending his body after like a a horrible accident but she like basically tortures him in this like isolated house to get him to rewrite his work just like for her so it doesn't kill off her character honestly that sounds really good i mean that's actually psych psychotic reading the description i guess i'll find out but like why doesn't he just do it you know like i don't know if a character is worth being like tortured over so like just write her a damn book so i guess i'll see the reasoning is or what he ends up doing so i'm very excited i've heard this is really fast paced so i think i'm gonna really like this the next book i really want to read in october that i'm very very excited about is city of ghosts by v.e schwab this is a middle grade and i didn't know that v.e schwab did middle grade books so i'm super excited to get to this i really would love just like a spooky little ghost story like look at the little cat on the back that's so cute i like spooky middle grade books like kind of horror because like they're not gonna scare the absolute bejesus out of me but they will like i get those spooky ghost vibes you know so i'm very excited i love the e schwab invisible life value lure is one of my favorite books of all time so i'm very excited to see what she does for middle grade i've never i didn't know she had a middle grade book but i was walking around that section and lo and behold i found it so i'm very excited to get to this it like with the font's huge like it's gonna be a quick read i think this one is about this girl Cass who drowned and now she could pull back the veil that separates the living from the dead and enter the world of spirits and things get strange when her parents start hosting a tv show about the world's most haunted places and when Cass meets a girl who shares her gift she realizes how much she still has to learn about the veil and she has to learn fast because the city of ghosts is more dangerous than she ever imagined it sounds really good um i love a story about someone who can see ghosts i'm hoping we get like interactions with the ghosts because i I love that more than anything so I'm very excited to get to this hopefully I really want to so another book on my TBR is kind of different than the ones I'll explain um, it's tomorrow 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 by Gabrielle seven this is on my TBR honestly because so for one of my classes there's an assignment where like there's a list of books we have to read and then like do like a big like, poster about it in December I was looking at the list of books and this was on it and I was like I have that one so I'm gonna read this this month because obviously I've, I've had it on my TBR for since January of 2023 it's been sitting around for a while and i'm like kill two birds with one stone don't have to buy a book for class and i knock off a book off my tbr that i've had for so long so i'm gonna read this like this is definitely getting read because i have to 
I've heard really amazing things about this book though, so I'm really excited. It says, in this exhilarating novel, two friends, often in love but never lovers, come together as creative partners in the world of video game design, where success brings them fame, joy, tragedy, duplicity, and ultimately a kind of immorality. Immortality. Yeah immortality um i don't read a lot of general fiction but i don't know why at the time i think at the time this book was like blowing up and i was really excited to see the hype but again as i said how i get about books that blow up i'm not really good about reading them but yeah honestly i've really heard i've heard great things about this my professor recommended it or wants us to read it so can't be that bad so i'm very excited to see how i like it and this definitely deviates from like the spooky vibes but maybe that'll be good maybe it'll be like a little cleanser somewhere in there but I am very excited to read this I'll probably read this like just like slowly like throughout the month I also love like when you can read a book that like you want to read for class so that'll be nice the last book on my TBR is the one that hasn't come yet I'll tell you about it anyway it's the pumpkin spice cafe by Lori Gilmore I'm so excited to read this guys <laughs> like I've seen this everywhere it's described as a little small town romance perfect for Hannah Grace and stephanie archer which hannah grace i don't know where it is but i'm literally reading a hannah grace book right now i'm reading daydream like at this moment so perfect it's the beloved pumpkin spice cafe in the small town of dream harbor Jeannie jumps at the chance for a fresh start away from her dull desk job logan is a farmer who avoids dream harbor's gossip at all costs but Jeannie's arrival disrupts logan logan's routine and wants nothing to do with the irritably upbeat new girl except that he finds himself inexplicably drawn to her i've heard that this get like the girl like the author's like surname is like Lori gilmore like that's giving go like it's gilmore girls let's be real i've heard this described as like perfect for fans of gilmore girls so i am just so excited to get to it and i want to read it so bad yeah i think it'll be good right now like for the beginning of the month when i'm like in the in a romance kind of mood maybe with my witchy romance so yeah i'm excited to do that so that was the last book on my tbr but I have four but I want to do a little series update for you guys of like what series I'm in the middle of that I would like to get into. These ones are not technically on the TBR but like they're on my radar because they're series I'm in the middle of. Little series update for you guys. I am in on the last book of Wisteria which this is a real possibility that could be read this month. I'm really really excited to finish up this series. I adore Belladonna. If I have not about it enough i really love these this trilogy so i'm excited to see how it wraps up and yeah hopefully this month because it's got it's a gothic fantasy like thriller so like i've said it kind of reminds me of a dark version of what's upon a broken heart and i was right because stephanie garber has a little bit blurb on here and she says a deliciously deadly gothic romance full of poisonous deeds spectacular secrets and dark mysteries so and carrie monscalco has this which i'm so excited about so hopefully you get through that also cheers for me i'm finally making progress through harry potter i'm trying really hard guys i feel so left out of the loop i really want to have said i've read it i'm officially on the fourth one now these books do give like fall and winter vibes so wouldn't hate reading this in october I've heard this is the fourth one. I mean, like, I don't know a lot. Like, I kind of, like, avoided, like, hearing anything about Harry Potter for, like, a long time. Like, I don't really know, like, any of the lore. Like, I don't know any spoilers for the end or anything. But I do know people like the fourth one the best and the fourth movie. So I'm very excited for this. But this one's, like, when it gets chunky. Like, the first three books are pretty short. This is getting fat. So the next book I, I'm in the middle of is Hellbent by Lee Bardugo. This is the second one to Ninth House. I read Ninth House in my Dark Academia blog in earlier this month and I really enjoyed it. So I bought Hellbent and this one is like fantasy Dark Academia, which truly gives fall, truly gives Halloween. Like this book, out of all the Dark Academia books, Ninth House was probably the most like Halloween when I read because it had like ghosts and spells and all that so I feel like this would be good for Halloween and I've heard this one's better I'm really excited hopefully to get to this we'll see this TPR is so ambitious it is crazy guys also another book that I would like to read in October is A Murderous Relation by Deanna Rayburn this is the fifth book in the Veronica Speedwell series my last vlog I finished a dangerous collaboration which five stars absolutely loved like this is a, such a five star series for me i adore the veronica speedwell series and like this cover like how perfect is it that i'm reading this in october like i'm on the fifth book in october because i'm pretty sure this is set in fall it's autumn 19 1888 so i'm definitely reading this 
this month like this is like a must read it's a royal scandals connection to a brutal serial killer threatens london in this new veronica speedwell adventure so i'm very excited very very excited to get to this like i love these books like they're so quick and fun and i just love veronica getting up to her adventures with stoker and the end of book four like really left me like needing to know like what's going on like the relationships and like I don't know they're starting to like build on each other and I'm starting to like lo I'm loving it so much so this one's so perfect for Halloween like look at this look at this cover so I'm very excited to read this so also I did want to mention because it's coming out at the end of the month so I probably won't read it this month but I did want to mention I'm very excited for the release of the next I don't think it's called Thro I think it's Throne of Secrets is the next Throne of the Fallen book by Carrie Maniscalco it comes out the day before my birthday like how perfect is that like Throne of the Fallen is one of my favorite fantasy books like it has like all of the Kingdom of the Wicked, Throne of the Fallen, like I adore those books. They're witchy, they're very perfect for fall, I would say. And it kind of follows the like the seven princes of hell. I don't know which prince this one follows, but the first one is Envy. I'm very excited to get to it. I think this one might be Gluttony. I have no idea, truly, but I'm very excited to get to it. It comes out at the end of the month, so I don't know if I'm gonna read it, but it does come out for my birthday. And I got Throne of the Fallen, for my birthday last year so how perfect of it is it that it's coming out on my birthday this year yeah those are all the books and one of them i don't even own yet these are all the books on my tbr it's crazyly ambitious is it gonna happen no it's not i'm telling you i'm not gonna get to all these books but for october I, there are so many like books that i wanted to get to that i thought i would just like kind of throw them all in here and tell you guys like what my options were for the month. I'm very excited about all these. So in a perfect world where I didn't have school or responsibilities, I would just read all day and get to all these books. But unfortunately, it's not looking like that's gonna happen anytime soon. But we'll try our best. <laughs> yeah, this is the whole TBR. So let's get in it to the journaling now. And then later tonight, we will decorate together and watch some Gilmore Girls.
like it's nighttime now but i wanted to show you guys a little bit for this month's journal spread i decided to do like show off the books on the tbr because like some of these covers are just so pretty and they deserve their moment you know and it's my favorite month so i want to talk about it a little bit this is for the book spread also literally just wanted to use the sticker my whole excuse for this whole journal spread is wanting to use that little cat sticker so oh my god i forgot to draw in the color in the bookshelves that is on me that is my bad but i'll do that later but i just got little cute little puppy stickers from target um and i really wanted to use those i thought they were very cute so i was very excited about the october spread anyway i also to think i'm gonna do a little bit of light decorating it's nothing that exciting i promise you guys but i was realized like in my move i still have like a few boxes around that i have like of just like miscellaneous stuff like of stuff i don't know where to put but in some of those boxes are halloween direct decorations that i was like accumulating over the summer from home and now this is my excuse to not be lazy and actually put them up so where are that this is like what's gonna make me do it so oh hi girl i'm gonna watch some gilmore girls I'm watching um, season two, episode 13, the basket one. If you guys know, you know, a phenomenal episode. But I'm gonna do that, eat a couple of maple cookies, and then that'll be it. guys it's the next day now i just wanted to say a quick little outro and say thank you so much for watching my this week's video i hope you guys enjoyed the decorating that was kind of new um, i have to decorate for october and i'll probably decorate for like christmas and stuff when that comes around so let me know if you guys liked that please let me know what is on your guys's october tbr and if you guys are getting the mood for some spooky reads or atmospheric reads i would love to know what you guys are reading this month i am so excited october is always my favorite thing also like let me know what your favorite like october like fall activities are because i want to do them all i love like apple picking and all that so i'm really looking forward to doing that and like little fall fairs like it's just so much fun i'm really looking forward to that this month honestly i'm just really excited to start wearing like cute fall outfits and, and getting cozy and all that and reading my fun reads so keep a lookout for some vlogs featuring some of these some of these books i am very very excited to do some fall reading so yeah i think this is gonna be a really good month thank you guys so so much for watching this week's video if you like my channel please like comment and subscribe i post every monday i hope you guys have such a fabulous week and i will see you guys soon bye